What's up, my nanors? It's the Nanor Guy, back at it again in Super Mario 64 DS. All right, in the last episode, we unlocked Mario and got the wing cap and completed Bob on Battlefield. Can you believe it? We have already completed two courses in this game. Yeah, all right, in this episode, we are going to begin a new level. Reacting to the star power, the door opens slowly. Or it opens fast like a door, and first we get Rabbit! Rabbit! Ouch! Put me down! There's no need for violence, you big brute! I picked up the key, so it's mine! I don't see your name on it. I'll hand it over if you let me go. Here. Ah, rabbits. Never understood them. Right, uh, we not be saving because I am in the middle of recording. All right. Um, there's. Before we actually hop into the main level, we are going to talk to this toad or nearly punch him. Being imprisoned in these walls can drive a fungus crazy, but when but when I really start to freak out, I think to myself, well, I'm going to be here a while, so might as well stare at the fish. They are oddly hypnotic. Then I actually like it. Then I actually start to like being captured. Ah, it's madness! I want to snap out of this. That's a f free us before we're all completely brainwashed. But for now, why don't you gaze at the fish with me? You look tense. Come, relax. God. Uh, recording this in early morning might not have been uh, the best choice, but oh well. Alright, first we're going to hop in here because there's a 1-up. Not like 1-ups really do anything. Every time you reboot the game, you're back at 4. So it doesn't really matter too much. But in here, we get something else. Oh no, we're going to drown. Uh, this level is called the Secret Aquarium. God, this level is uh, one of my personal favorites. It's, it's, you know, a nice chill area with a bunch of fish. And the only way you're really going to, like, lose in this level is if you just don't get the coins, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but I, I think this was a really neat concept, and I think it, like, you know, helps you get used to, like, the swimming before really getting into, um, the actual swimming level, where there's actual threats. Anyways, I think we've completed all the coins up there, so that's what we've done. Oh yeah, I've always wanted to like swim in an aquarium with like a bunch of sea life, maybe even scuba diving. So you know that's that's just really cool, I think. Anyway, and also the uh, well, I won't reveal the name of the track yet until we get into the actual level. But oh gee, spoilers for like a nearly thirty-year-old game. Alright, um, moving on, we got ourselves a star. Um, really quickly, I want to, um, <laughs> admit that there will be some sort of inaccuracies or discrepancies between the previous episodes, uh, and this, and these ones, because, uh, I'm actually on a new playthrough right now, a new save file. But I've done my best to keep things as accurate as possible. So, hey. Anyways, we got ourselves a star. One of the castle secret stars. Awesome, uh, we're going to continue. All right. Now let's actually begin the next level. Plunder in the sunken ship 
in Jolly Roger Bay. Oh boy. So starting off here, we got a couple of Goombas. We got ourselves a uh, uh, another power block. Uh, okay, cool. And then we got ourselves a uh, blue coin switch. Hold up, let me, if I could even ground pound it. Okay. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have to swim all this. Ooh, but there's a lot of points. So yeah. Um, cool. Ooh, the music though, it's... Jolly Roger Bay actually really has one of the most, like, nice sounding, um... Mario track in swimming tracks in general, it was composed beautifully. I think it um, deserves more appreciation. If it like, it not like it doesn't get a lot of appreciation already. I don't know why I'm going for red coins because on the map you can see there's already uh, a star in where there's no ship there. Well, if a ship isn't above the water, it's clearly below. Oh boy. And then, um, we have everyone's favorite childhood nightmare, uh, the eel. Uh, I'm not even gonna attempt to translate his name. Oof. Okay, uh, he already launched out. Uh, I should also like to mention, you have to be much closer to him in the N64 version. And, uh, comparing this version and the N64 version a bit more, the, uh, picture, uh, or the painting to enter this level is a bit different. Uh, however, it is the same as the Japanese N64 version, which is pretty cool. Alright, and in here we just got a couple coins. Uh, I should also like to mention, you, once you enter in here, you can't get out. At least as far as I'm aware. Maybe there's some sort of like speedrunner trick to do the 100 red coins mission fat. The 100 red coins mission fat. Uh, the, the 100 coin mission. Uh, and, and use these coins, but who knows. I don't think there's a way out. And no, come on! Alright. No! Let me out! There we go. Ooh, that was, uh. crazy. But overall, this level seems like it'll be fine. Alright. Pick open. Now let's get our star. Next up is another fan favorite level. Can the eel come out to play? Oh boy. So, before I actually pressing the button, I'd like to show this off. Yeah, some coins. Go whoop de doo. Uh, no, we actually have a blue, blue shell. Gosh, this isn't Mario Kart. But we have a regular shell that has. That allows you to go across the uh, water. Come on! Oh, I think I was just off by a little bit with that one. Ooh. And there's a bub on buddy here. Uh, what do you have to say? Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. All right, so nice. We got access to the cannon. Ready for blast off? Come on, hop into the cannon. Um. Don't hop into cannons, kids. That's not very healthy. Uh, yeah, don't hop into a cannon. Alright, as we can see, the star is in the general area as the star last time, but really quickly, I just wanted to show we have, um, the ship is now actually floating again. Uh, probably because we removed all the water from it in the last mission. I think that's cool. Um,. And then we have the box of death. Uh, if you don't believe me, yeah, it just, upon touching it, you get hurt. Oh, and uh, if you resurface while having damage, uh, you do get healed back to full health. So I think that's pretty nice. 
Alright, next we gotta meet Mr. Eel once again. Oh gosh. I, I think... I don't know how, but like in Mario Odyssey, they made it just as creepy uh, as the original N64 one. Because uh, this one's, you know, cuter in the original. But then Mario 64, they managed to look like just like the original. Oh, and I would like to grab a star, please. Before I drown. Okay. Hold up. We need to grab oxygen. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not uh, a fish. Or... Are you eels fish? I don't think so. They're like a completely different, like, class of animal. And he went back into his little hidey hole. Oh, look like at him. He's just sticking his head out. Eels in real life are pretty cool, I think. You know, they're, they, they are the real sea snakes. And, oh, <laughs> worth it. Um... Uh, yeah, they're, they're cool. It's just this eel's scary. So let's get out of here. Alright, next up, Treasure in the Ocean Cave. Let's go right into this one. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, we're actually gonna take the cannon for this one. Because I like being fast. Uh, let's see, can I get onto the ship? Here. Oh, no, we are going to. Oh, thank goodness. I thought we were gonna hit right into the ship. That would be very, very bad. And then now the eel's just swimming around. I think it thinks we're friend. I don't know. Maybe the eel isn't as bad as everyone makes it out to be. Alright. Uh, if you pass through those rings, you get a one up. But, you know, one ups are pretty worthless. But, you know. Uh, not getting a game over is pretty epic. Alright. So, in here, we are obviously in an ocean cave. Uh, watch out for falling rocks. Is that what you're gonna say? Watch out for falling rocks. Keep out! That means you are. Anyone entering this cave without permission will eat certain disaster. The captain. You know they're a real captain if they don't spell it properly all right so there's a couple of different ways you could do this you could do it the legitimate way and, and you know just run through or you could do it the other way because instead of getting a feather we get a power flower and now we get balloon mario returning from super mario world which, honestly, I'm surprised the pea balloon hasn't been in future games very often. Oh well. But yeah, you can totally just cheese this level by just using the power flower. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's all I gotta say. Oh, but that might actually hurt. And after a certain- uh, Whoa, I am so sorry, Goomba. <laughs> Alright. Arr! Ahoy, matey! I have sunken treasure here, I do! But to pluck the plunder, you must open the treasure chest in the right order! What order is that, ye say? I'll never tell! Because every every single pirate must sound like uh, Mr. Krabs. Alright, that's what... And that is not the correct order. Alright, so that uh, means this one, or this one, and the bottom. I swear, it's not that hard of an order to figure out, but it's just I always forget which direction. You know what, you Goomba. Oh, I, did, I, I didn't mean murder! Oh. It's okay, they're fine. They'll be back eventually. Uh, hopefully. Don't sue me! Alright, next we got Blast to the Stone Pillar. So, judging by the words blast, uh, well, that's not words, those are, that's one word, but, uh, it looks like we'll be using the cannon. 
Thankfully, I opened it up not that long ago. Alright, so we're gonna blast it and hopefully grab on. No, we did not grab on. And instead gave ourselves a concussion. Awesome. Alright, we'll swim back. All right, attempt number two. Uh, we're going to blast to the pillar and miss! Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, that nearly could have been a concussion. And you know, the first time you get, it's easier to get a concussion multiple times after getting the first one. Actually, before we go into the cannon again, I wanna see what these say. Cause I don't think I've seen anyone uh, read them before. Certain people have natural agility and lightness. These slender wisps can run on water for a bit, but only if they sprint towards it. I wonder why they have that power. Maybe it's those green caps uh, they wear to make them light and flexible as blades of grass. They are delicate and sensitive creatures, so be nice when you see them. Hmm, I wonder what that could be for. Attention! Read it before diving in. You'll run out of air if you linger underwater. Return to the surface, find an air bubble, or collect coins to breathe underwater. It's, uh, yeah, 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 we jump out of the water when you return to the surface, yeah. Okay, so yeah, basic stuff you should hopefully know about video games in real life, hopefully. Uh, when you step on this strange question switch in the castle, the question box will become solid. Yeah, we- okay. Oh, that was, that was endearing. I didn't actually know that sign uh, had anything. Uh, nor did I really know that sign actually uh, doesn't exist in the original N64 version, that's why. Alright, we're going to attempt this one more time, and fail again. Alright, there we go, we actually blasted to the top, okay. Ooh, uh, let's actually take a view. There's not much of one. Ah, hey, it's cool to see. The pirate ship. Hmm. Okay, fine, we'll touch the star. <laughs> Alright, we got our first red coins mission. So, well, uh, not our first, it's technically our, like, third, if we exclude Mario's level. So, uh. Okay, so, the red coins mission, not all of them are actually on the ship. So, we need to actually swim down. And in here, there's a little uh, Koopa shell that you can use to just glide around the uh, ocean a bit. But it only lasts for like a couple seconds. So, I don't know. It's cool that they thought of it, but it's. I don't know. I guess even in this level, it doesn't have that much purpose. Eh, whatever. Anyways, this clam has one of the red coins. Alright. And then some seaweed. Uh, does this clam actually have a red coin? Yes, it does. Ah. Uh, good to see that there's still things. I don't know what I'm trying to go with that. Um, if you stay in the clams for too long, they're going to bite you. Also has a red coin, so that means we're already three coins down. And as usual, we'll be doing the uh, 100 coins mission. And, uh, no. Wait, I can just hop up. Okay, I, I did the grab animation. This isn't Mario Sunshine, apparently. We can just grab onto the ledge. Okay. And, oh, pirate.
All right, up here we can grab a pea balloon, but if we press the switch, it creates a pathway, and then just walk across and have a classic Mario 64 issue of uh, going the opposite direction you actually want. Trust me, that's just a thing that happens in Mario 64, like in both versions. I wonder how many of uh, uh, people actually like messed up or like all in off platforms because of just weird finicky controls. And also, you know, using the original DS is kind of weird for control, especially in 3D, but whatever. Right. Well, you've collected quite a few red coins, huh? Well done. Please take a look at the map below. So yeah, here's the bubble on buddy if you so need him. Uh, I've never had too much trouble with him. Barely fell. I've never had too much trouble looking for red coins, but you know. Uh, you, you wanna keep- oh, OW! That's what you get for praising the bub on buddy. Okay, we got that red coin. Alright, and then this is a red coin. Yes, this is a red coin. Okay, so then the third one, the third one, the eighth one can actually be done in the water. Um, I think it's in the clan. I just can't remember. It's been a, a little while. Yep. Alright, and then it'll spawn on the ship. So, overall, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, uh, I should also like to mention the 100 coins mission is way harder in the N64 version because there are actually way less coins. Um, in the bay, uh, thank you, uh, Nintendo, for when remaking this game, that you would actually have more. Oh well, uh, I think I'm just gonna speed up the footage, maybe add a couple of post commentary. Hey y'all, Nanor here. <coughs> Sorry, had a bit of a, um, bad throat there. Alright, so yeah, um, I just... Wanted to add some post commentary here while we uh, attempt to get the uh, 100 red coins. So, the 100. Why do I keep making that mistake? Eh, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Um, first, I want to just thank everyone for like 200 subscribers. Uh, honestly, I thought I was going to be kind of stuck in like the, the tens round, but I've managed to. Well, you guys have managed to get me there. And I, I appreciate it. it means a lot really I <laughs> never expected um, to get there and I guess now my let's play content has sort of become my unusual content so well, uh, I don't know but yeah um, I also want to apologize for not continuing the series um, in a while uh, and as you can see here I totally just fumbled that uh, shell but yeah uh, hopefully it should become more of a regular thing. Anyways, back to regular Nanor. Alright, we got ourselves the 100th star? Um, the 100th star? Nope, we got ourselves the 100 coins and got a star. You silly viewer, why would you think it was 100 stars? <laughs> Uh, alright, um, alright, because I am cheap and don't want to use my legs, okay! Well, they say you learn something new every day, um, I guess you do. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. Uh, in a weird sort of way, it is cool. 
Whoa, I didn't actually know that, um, a Bobal would spawn from there. Well, uh, that's interesting. All right, let's just get right back in. Or not. Okay, so switch star of the bay. Um, we cannot actually do this mission. Now I'll show why real quick. Alright. So we go over here, this is where the switch star is. And as you can see where it spawns isn't quite I don't know. Or reachable. So yeah. We cannot do this mission, so instead we'll have to return back to the menu. Alright though. So that um concludes uh, that. So really quickly, we're gonna head in here. Let's Oh, spooky! There's a spooky ghost! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. L is real! Something, something, something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> the, the iconic uh, Luigi is in Super Mario 64. Never forget it. I mean, it's pretty hard to forget. Alright, so out here we got a couple boos. You know, classic enemies of the mark. Hmm, why isn't he? It's a pain. Okay. But, as you can see, outside there are a couple of red coins. Uh. Alright, so now we got some. And so, if you actually can't jump on these guys, I should probably preface that. That you can't jump on these guys, uh, but you can ground pound and punch them. Uh, though it's pretty hard to punch, like, like you know they like just up here. They kind of make it a bit hard. And ow! Someone traded that. Yeah, but you had a red coin. Oh, it's okay. That does not have a red coin, but we'll get to him later. Uh, I oh, I believe the boos that run away from you have coin- red coins in them. Like, I I'm not actually sure if it was running away from me, to be perfectly honest. Maybe I'm just being the booger. Alright, let's see here. With the legendary wall cake, you can access high places. Yeah, uh, is there the superhero with the red cap? Spider-Man? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, there's nothing up here as far as I know. It'd be, it's kind of weird that they tell you about that there of all places. Oh well. Uh, I am completely ignoring the star, as usual. And we'll continue to do so. Because I want to read uh, signs. Psst. The boos are super shy. If you look them in the eyes, they fade away. They reappear when you turn your back, so don't let them sneak up on you. It's no use trying to hit them when they're fading away. Instead, sneak up from behind and punch them. You can't swallow boo, so this is where you'll need a mustached hero to save the day. Only mustaches can stop bad things. You can run and dive at enemies. Yeah. Only mustached players can move this off. Can move this off? No, can pull this move off. Don't even think of trying it if you don't have a mustache. Gee. Alright, we got ourselves a star. I uh, do I want to save? Not now. I'm going to be in the middle of recording. Alright, but in here... We have... The Secret of Battle 4. Uh, I can't tell if that's a mission name, or if that's the name of the level. Because, I mean, well, first uh, let, let's give an introduction. This is a, uh, Silver Star mission, and uh, as I usually means, this is an original level to Mario 64 DS. 
So, oh gosh. Now, up there, those are not Queen Babams. Those are Chakias, yes. Oh! Yeah, uh, Chakias, they will, as their name suggests, Chakia. Um, they will become an angry man. Uh, I am sorry, Goomba. I, I'm not intentionally trying to harm these Goombas in this manner. They just keep fall. They keep walking under my butt. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, moving on. Um, over there. I don't remember what those are called, but they do this. It's kind of mean. They don't actually hurt you. It's just environmental damage. So they actually can't make you lose a super star or anything. Alright, so four silver stars in. Pretty easy, pretty easy. This level's really cool. I like it. So, okay. Uh, don't let it grab you. And, okay, I was trying to turn my camera. And once again, just similar to, uh, those little pancake flippers is what I'm gonna call them for now. Because, you know, they look like they flip pancakes. <laughs> Whoa! How the Goombas want their revenge? Uh, so yeah, don't let, uh, Chuck is. Uh, hit you. So, instead, we have to turn them from Chuck Yez into Chuck Vems. Oh, come on! Oh, great! Great! Oh, boy. This would be so much easier if I had, didn't have to use my... Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Of course, I'm going to completely fall down. But... Is it? Oh no 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 no! That was a weird sound. Are you telling me it's actually in one of the Goombas? I've just been unsmart this whole time. Oh. Oh. This is why. Hell, bro. Ah, come on. Come on, good boy. Stop. Okay. So, I didn't have to deal with Chuck yet. That was... Okay, can I get the star? Okay, okay get out of the way. Ah! Oh! Okay. Yeah, this is okay. This is fine. All right, let's just get out of here. Yeah. Uh uh. All right. Well, it seems to have uh, done that, and as. I think I just noticed. Yep, there's a there's a very secret spot that only mustache players can get. Actually, I think Yoshi can get up here, but uh, we don't need y Yoshi right now. All right, does this say anything? I feel like it does. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh well. All right. Oh. Uh, 
this has been Super Mario 64 DS. Next time, we'll be taking on whatever's in there and continuing on and maybe find some clue of where Luigi is. See you all then.